is our elastic. Just like we did with our drawstring, we're going to feed a safety pin onto the elastic. Remember that we have to go in the direction the seams are laying, so we're going to go that way. The reason we don't go the opposite way is that if we go this way and we get stuck under one of the seams, we can't go any farther. So we're going to feed it in just like we did the last time. We're going to gather the material onto the safety pin, hold the front of the safety pin, pull the elastic and the material, well, pull the, the material away so the elastic starts to feed in. Once you get it all the way through, you can see that it's it's fairly flat at one end, but then it starts to bunch quite a lot. You want to grab the elastic at the uh, safety pin, but you don't want to grab the safety pin if you can help it, and pull it through a bit more. Back it off a little bit, make sure it's it's nice and flat inside. And take the safety pin, take the safety pin off the elastic. And you want to pin through the elastic and through the front and back of the material. So that now this piece will stay here and you can feed more elastic in. Because now what you need to do is you'll need to try these on. You'll need to try these on and you'll need to tighten or loosen the elastic so that it fits around your waist. Okay, so I figured out how much elastic we need. You're going to overlap it by about an inch and you're going to pin it. What you need to make sure of is that your elastic is straight all the way through and there's no twists. We're going to pin it twice. Now I can unpin this. And I'm going to pull this through a bit so that I can sew the elastic together. I'm going to zigzag on a zigzag stitch of number five. I'm going to do a uh, needle position of six because I want the zigzags to be wide and I'm going to do a stitch length. So we're just going to fit this around the machine like this. We're going to make sure 
that we start sewing where the elastic begins and we're going to sew until we get to where the elastic ends. So I'm going to start a bit before going to back stitch going to go forward carefully take one pin out second pin out keep sewing back stitch forward now this is the tricky part you're going to back stitch and you're going to tilt so that it sort of goes more into the middle. Then you're going to go forward straight. Then you're going to go back again and you're going to tilt the elastic so it starts to go in that direction. Then straighten it out again go forward, back again, okay, you just want to go back like that so that you've sewn this really well. You can pull this out I'm going to pull the elastic so that it goes into the waistband and now we want to sew this opening up <laughs> back to stitch number one we're going to start back farther than our, our mark we're going to back stitch we're going to go across we're going to go past our that stitch and then reverse again so that we totally seal that opening up 